Every day we consume coffee, sugar, grains, and chocolate. We get dressed. What do all of the goods we use have in common? Try to guess. Can't you see? Raw materials. Yes, most of the raw materials that are in the goods we consume are imported. Sugar, cereals, cocoa. Have you ever seen a cocoa tree grow in Switzerland? This is where the international commodities trade comes into play. Its role is to orchestrate the worldwide flow of goods from places of production to places of consumption. Let's take the example of chocolate. What a pleasure to enjoy a nice cup of hot chocolate before going to school and to have a consistent taste which can be enjoyed all year round. An encounter between a trader and a producer must first take place. A true expert. The trader will create flavor profiles, assess the quality, and choose the best cocoa for consumers. Based on market demand, he will participate in development projects, such as improving the quality of plantations and investing in infrastructure. Thus, the trader is the true link between producers and consumers. Did you know that 90% of world cocoa production comes from farms smaller than 5 hectares? and that nearly six million people both live and benefit from this. But the role of the trader does not stop here. The trader also takes care of storage, transport, while facing many risks relating to product quality, climate hazard, changes in prices or exchange rates, cocoa, sugar, grains, cotton, energy, metals. In Switzerland, there are 520 companies working in the commodities industry, an industry which employs over 35,000 people and contributes $25 billion to the Swiss economy every year. So, will you have another hot chocolate?